And yes, so to join us discuss this matter, and Captain Beach Johnson will be former U.S. Marine. Would they hail you, Captain Beach Johnson? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, you feel tell us the situation where they're on ground now for National Assembly concerning this matter. Well, right now, I am not yet at the National Assembly right now. Mm. I'm on my way to the National Assembly. Okay. But I was there uh, last Friday mm. uh, when the committee um, invited uh, the Minister for Niger Data Affairs and also a warrant of arrest was issued for the active management director of the NDDC. Okay. Uh, I was uh, a witness in that probe on behalf of uh, my NGO, the Niger Data Youth Development, uh, Niger Data Youth Forum. Okay. Uh, so we presented our, our evidences to the probe. And uh, since that day, I have been following up the entire probe. Okay. So, um, but you don't see uh, Senator Godswe like Pabio within the assembly complex of the assembly and uh, since this matter stuck to the Shelley? No, he has not. He, uh, he has not uh, appeared before the probe since the probe began. Okay. And we are hoping that uh, he will be there today. Uh -huh. Okay, then, but what do you think, say, uh, we fit the expect uh, as the hearing? Go they still they go on. What do you, what do you, how you take see the matter from your own perspective? Well, from uh, our own point of view, uh, we believe that the interim management committee was in, put in place to carry out just one mandate, and that one mandate is to carry out the forensic audit of the commission, as was ordered by the president, uh, President Muhammad Buhari. Now, the interim management committee got there and began to do other things that were outside their mandate. Okay. And in so doing, they disregarded due process, they violated various rules and regulations of the commission, and a lot, lots of contracts were awarded, payments were made without due process, and nothing to show on grant for the huge amount of money that was spent. Okay, um, sorry, Captain, Captain Bish. Uh, yes. Sorry, Captain Bish. Um, for the rest of the answers where you go give me, I would like to make you speak calm for Pigeon English so that all of us will go hear you well. Because since no, no, we just I, they I, try, they try, but our ENA, they really they hear the English where you they blow, they give us. Uh, but in as much as we still they, uh, uh, appreciate them, but we want to make you just give us this rest of the information on top of well, Ogbonga uh, Pigeon, well, make we understand well, you clear, clear. Well, I was very clear to your producer Okay. that I don't know how to speak uh, broken English. Mm. Um, I, okay. I was very clear to him. You, you can't expect a Western trend a person like me no to problem. speak. Uh, no problem, Captain. If you continue, we will try uh, strong our ears so that we will hear you where we Thank you very much. Okay, so what mm. we expect is, mm. because what is very clear right now from the revelations uh, in the course of the probe mm. is that between... January of this year and May of this year mm. that 81.5 billion naira mm. has been spent by the interim management committee. Okay. So of various items mm. which they claim, uh, so we expect them to take questions and provide answers on how they manage the 81.5 billion naira mm. into inflation. Okay. Oh, probably. Thank you so much for all this Ogbonga information where you somehow give us uh, you too much and make you go hear the hearing well, well, so that we will still get more information from you. Make you get better day. Thank you very much.